I'm going to show you how to clean the Lavoie LV600S Smart Humidifier. I'm going to do this exactly the way that the instructions tell you. They tell you to clean this thing at least once a week. I'm doing it every couple weeks and I think the last time this was cleaned it was three weeks ago. And this thing has been running 24 hours a day for the last three weeks. So we'll see what the dirt buildup is like that. Now it does tell you to never immerse the base in water or liquid and do not place any part of the humidifier in a dishwasher. They also tell you not to use detergents to, de -clean, to clean the humidifier. So step one is to unplug the humidifier, of course, and then remove and rinse the water tank cover. Now we'll take a look at it. This piece does not look real dirty. So I'm just going to uh, rinse it off. The next step is to remove the water tank from the base and remove the mist channel and mist tube. They tell you to pour out any water from the tank and the base chamber. Now, if you've used the warm mist setting, use caution in case the water is still hot. So I'm taking off the water tank, I'll place that aside. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of a close-up here. Uh, you can see some of the dirt down at that level. And again, this is the first time I'm seeing it too. You can see some dirt in there. And so it could definitely use a cleaning. Again, this is three weeks running at 24 hours a day in a cool mist setting. Now I'm going to show you inside so we can take a look at this too. You can see down here the dirt in there after a few weeks. And if we take a look inside here, you can see some dust and dirt in the float area. And uh, we'll take this out and see how that looks. Oh, look at this. You see that? Again, three weeks in the cool mist setting. So you can see why they say to do it every week. Again, there's been no heat using here, but you can see all the dirt down here, down there, and on the little heating element there, and on top of the sound piece. I'm gonna take out this absorbing pad That actually doesn't look too dirty. And then I'm just going to do a quick rinse on this. They said, again, don't use any detergents or anything. I'm just kind of washing it off. I'm gonna unscrew the tube. Rinse that off a little bit. And look at, again, look at that. Make sure it's unplugged, of course, and to just hold down the um, the float in there just so it doesn't pop off and just uh, dump it and yeah you can see that it's pretty bad now the next steps say uh, to remove the water filter from the tank by rotating it counterclockwise and lifting it out you can see it in there so we're just going to turn it counterclockwise and take it out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that sponge out of there as well and rinse that off. So that's easy. You just pull it right from there and then we'll rinse all this off and clean it and I'll rinse out the sponge too. And We'll take a look at this. Uh, they said that you can clean out the absorption pad there and the sponge as well. Actually, this one does not look too bad. I have not used the aromatherapy at all, so that's probably why I'm just gonna rinse it off for now. Now I'm gonna take the float out and you can kind of see it's open from that end, so I'm gonna pop it out there and then slide it out. I'm popping up that edge and then taking it out. That really did not look too dirty. 
Now the next thing they tell you to do is to detach the outer water outlet valve from the tank by rotating it counterclockwise. And there you go. That doesn't look too uh, dirty either. Now I've been rinsing them as I've been going along, but we'll just give it a quick rinse of all the parts. In this tube, the lid, the noise uh, absorber silencer, the filter with the sponge removed, the mist chamber, the float, and the water outlet valve. The absorbers, they actually look pretty good. We're going to go through the descaling process, but I'm just going to try to clean up some of the basic residue that I see around here first. And I just have a, a damp paper towel. I'm just getting the the top stuff that's easily seen and we'll get the brush and everything else after we go through the process. Now this is an air outlet here and they tell you not to get any liquid in there so I just want to be careful of this air outlet right there but you can see some of the scuzz in there so just cleaning everything off. Okay now we're going to go through the uh, descaling process and this just removes any mineral buildup from the humidifier. Take out the noise silencer, the absorption pad, but put the mist channel and the mist tube back in. You also have to put the float chamber back in there. So I'm just going to put it in place like that. Okay. Okay, so again, at this stage, we have the mist chamber we have the tube in there. There's no noise silencer. There's no absorption pad. The float is back in there. Now the next step is to fill the tank with three cups of distilled white vinegar. Now I actually just picked this up at our local food store. This particular uh, cup here holds uh, two cups of liquid. So I'm gonna fill it up to the two cup mark. Okay, and I'm gonna pour that into the chamber. Fill it up with one more. Now the next thing it says to do is to put the tank cover on and swish the vinegar around. Place the tank on the base and let it soak for 15 to 20 minutes. The vinegar will drain into the base chamber and loosen the scale in the tank and in the base chamber. As you can see, the vinegar is in the tank and it has drained into the base unit a little bit and we're just gonna let it soak. It says as far as the other pads to just rinse them off like that. This is from the aromatherapy piece and the other absorption pad. All those parts. And then it says to just dry them off with a clean cloth. I'm gonna let the mayor dry a little bit while we're waiting for the rest of the stuff. Okay, the tank has been soaking for 20 minutes now. We're going to take the tank off and pour out the vinegar and any vinegar in the base and just kind of rinse it off with tap water. There goes the vinegar. Smells a little vinegary. I'm gonna rinse it off with room temperature tap water. taking the chamber out. I've taken
taking the float out of the, the base. Again, rinsing that off for a little bit. And now I'm just pouring whatever. There wasn't much in the tank there. Okay, now we have um, everything in the container here. And uh, it doesn't say to put these in there. You don't have to. Um, clean them out separately, but while I'm putting vinegar on it anyway, I might as well just go ahead and do it. So we've got all the individual pieces and we'll pour the vinegar over it now. While the parts are soaking in the vinegar, I'm gonna clean the base tank a little bit. You can still see in there, there's some dirt in that area, not completely clean and it has a vinegary smell. So I'm going to just rinse it a little bit. They said not to get anything on the outside. So I'm going to do it very gently and not to get any water in this air piece. So I'm just going to do a quick rinse at this point. And I'm just going to use a uh, damp paper towel to just kind of clean it up. And then they give you this nice little brush to kind of get some of the uh, nooks and crannies out of there kind of do that now to make sure that there's no uh, vinegar smell in this. That little brush works nicely. Get those little spots out of there. much cleaner now you can see all that orangey scaling and dirt is pretty much out now occasionally I would find some little rough spots where it had caked on and I dipped this little brush in some of the vinegar then I'd come to those crusty parts and I would kind of rub it with that and that seemed to work pretty well I did rinse this a little bit, but I mostly used a damp paper towel and just try to remove anything else that I saw. Get all that vinegary smell out. I did rinse it lightly, again, staying away from the air outlet and just kind of rinsed off some of the top vinegar section. Okay, you can see I've cleaned it all out, it looks so much better. None of that residue or scaling in there. It's nice and clean. Okay, I'm just again cleaning this out carefully. They said not to use any detergents or anything like that, so I'm just kind of rinsing it out. Can get any vinegary smell out of there. around a little bit Spread it out and I'll just give it a little bit of a scrub okay everything is done check inside you don't see any dirt nothing in there it looks pretty good I've dried it off nicely I'll let the rest of it just kind of air dry while I'm cleaning the other parts. Okay, everything is done. Now we just have to get all the vinegar off the parts and just rinse them off. So I'm just going to just quickly just rinse that off there. Just to get the top vinegar off. Just going to inspect these parts carefully just to make sure there's no scaling or anything in there no discoloration nice and clean so we're just going to do the parts one by one just to make sure that they're they're good make sure there's no vinegar smell so using a cloth to get it nice and dry 
again, these little parts, I just want to check inside to make sure there's nothing in there. And I don't see anything. So let's get it all dried up. pieces like this where there's a lot of edges I'm just checking to make sure that there's nothing in there now this is the piece that's going to need some work because there are little nooks and crannies in there with stuff in it not only outside but in that section so I'm going to get the little brush and make sure that's clean this part is a little difficult to clean so I did find if you just kind of squeeze these little tabs here that you can pop this piece out. And once that piece is out, then you can clean the inside a little bit better. That's a little tip that was not in the instructions. Okay, now you can see it's nice and clean. All that orange stuff is out and all the parts are nice and clean. Put in this and then we'll just snap this piece back in where it belongs. Okay, and then we're good to go. Okay, before we put it all back together, let's just put all these parts back together. This is the aromatherapy piece. The pad is still clean, so I'm just gonna pop it back in there, set to go. Take the sponge, which had been rinsed off, and we're just gonna put it right there. So that's ready to go back in place. Then you wanna take the water filter as well and um, go ahead and put the um, sponge back in. So I'm just gonna slide it in there. I think we're good. Okay, everything is nice and clean and dry. Now we're just gonna put this together. We're gonna put the, uh, the flute. Uh, back in Okay, that's all set then you want to take the uh, absorption pad and Put that back down there And you're gonna put the noise silencer back in Okay, then you're going to take the tube and screw it back into the mist chamber there. And then we're going to place that in with this tube up against this ridge here, like that. Okay, then you're going to take your aromatherapy piece that's all back in and I'm going to pop that back in down on the bottom side there. Okay, and then we just have to put the tank back together and we're all done. Okay, you're gonna take the valve outlet again and we're just gonna put it down there and turn it clockwise until it locks into place, which is there. And then flip it over. And you wanna take your water filter and you did it counterclockwise to take it out. So we're gonna put it in clockwise Put it in like that and then just turn it until it locks in. Then we can just put the tank back on the unit like that. Then we're just going to take the lid and put that back in. Okay, so everything is nice and clean and ready to go. Now I would say that the instructions say to do it once a week and if you can do that this will go much easier. Like I said in the beginning, I waited three weeks and that made mine a little bit dirtier. But anyway, um, I probably wouldn't go beyond two weeks. It'll be a much quicker experience. That's the cleaning of the Lavoit LV600S Smart Humidifier. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much for watching.